Hello and welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome to my channel. Today is a really really exciting day because today I'm going to collect two baby rats. Um, I'm getting two female rats as my very first rats and basically yeah I'm really excited and I just thought I would bring you along and vlog the whole thing. So I just want to show you the carry cage that I'm going to be collecting them in. This is the carrier that I'm going to be using and I also have this fleece blanket which I'm going to put in there as well for them. I've literally just finished setting up the cage right now. I will just quickly show it to you. There's a few bits and bobs which I've ordered from Amazon which are still yet to come but um, I'm sure that they will be here within the next couple of days so I'll just show you the cage so far. So this is the cage. Um, as you can see I've got two different hammocks. The one at the top with the pink and down here with the nude. This is like a rope bridge and this this is a wooden bridge and then this is a little fleece um hanging bed and then on the shelves this one and this one I've lined them with fleece and when you look inside down at the bottom there's a little seesaw for them and a couple of different wooden shoes and there is a litter tray with some litter in there and a little pebble because apparently they like to wee on pebbles um, inside the different hammocks I've shredded some fleece and I've just put that in there and the same for up here. <laughs> so I feel like I can't even catch my breath, I'm so excited but I am going to be setting off shortly. I have ordered everything off Amazon and I've not been in any shops. The only thing that I am not doing the most social distancing is actually collecting the two rats because I'm going over to the breeder's house to collect them. I imagine that they will be doing social distancing when we get there and me and my boyfriend are going to be driving over and we will both be wearing masks as well. So anyway, I'm going to set off now, um, pretty much. I just need to make sure that the rest of the animals are okay and yeah, I'll update you whenever anything is happening. So I've just gone to pick up Corey, my boyfriend who is coming with me and I'm just in the car um, waiting for him to come out of his house. So I just thought I would quickly show you the travel carrier. So it's just here yeah, it's just got some fleece and in that little Tupperware I've got some sliced apple which I'll put in um, when I've collected them because um, I've just heard that it's really good to give them something to eat maybe some fruit or some veg while they're traveling and um, because they don't have their water or anything like that I also have my own water bottle and my hand gel <laughs> just collected them now we had a bit of problems because i forgot to ask about the address but never mind we are here now and we've got them and i'll just show you them they're very very teeny and very sweet <laughs> just got them home and they are so tiny and so cute I can't even believe it I don't know if you can see this is one of them and then the other one's over here in this hammock I can't even cope they are so cute <laughs> pretty scared so I'm just going to leave them alone and give them a bit of chance to settle in. I might try and see if I can offer them a treat or something tomorrow but I'll let you know how we get on. Okay so it is the next day and obviously I collected the two little girls yesterday. Um, I just thought I would give a little bit of an update. So last night one of them, um, she's the one who's kind of white and then she's got like a cream like face and some on her back as well. Um, she was so scared so last night i put her into the cage and where i put her down she did not move for 
hours and so I, I got really worried and so I put a post in um, a rat group on Facebook and said has this happened to anyone else any advice or whatever and they just said if you want instead of having her on the level put her down on the bottom of the cage like the base of the cage she'll probably hide in the house at the bottom and then also that's where the food is and that's where the water is as well so if you put her down there that might help anyway so I did do that and I was really glad that I did actually because then she curled up with her sister like they both curled up together so I was really glad that I had actually done that because I was really worried that she was just scared and she was on her own and I thought she was too scared to even find her sister even though I knew where they were anyway so I stayed awake in my room before I went to sleep and I had the lights off and I noticed that during that time that's when they started to come out a bit more and explore um, and I also heard them drinking from the water bottle as well so that really like put me at ease and then in the morning I saw that little the little girl who was too scared to move the night before I saw her climbing right at the top of the cage so that really did put me at ease as well and I stayed in bed awake for about an hour this morning before I even got up or anything and I saw them both climbing all over and both of them drinking from the water bottle so I was really glad about that but I didn't want to go over to the cage and disturb them at all so I just left them to do whatever they were doing and to settle in a little bit when I did get up since then they have just stayed in their bed the entire time so but I also had a little peep in the cage and I'd scattered food on the floor and all of that food's gone so that means that they've obviously either collected it or eaten it either way I'm quite happy about that and um, I didn't know if they would have been too scared to eat or something but luckily they're not yeah so I'm really glad about that things are going well so far this morning I had another delivery from Amazon so I've added it in a couple of extra bits and um, I'm gonna keep doing that throughout like the next couple of weeks well to be honest the entire time that I have them like I still add in stuff with the hamsters all the time so I'm just gonna be like continually changing and adding things and seeing how they interact with things and stuff like that so I will just show you briefly what the cage is looking like at the minute so it's looking slightly messier at the bottom since they've been in there um and then I've added in this little rainbow hanging bridge thing the back if you can see see there's another rope this is like a bendy rope so you can position it however you want but I've just got it like that for now and I've also got this it's actually a basket the entrance is at the other side and since they're so tiny at the moment I actually think they could climb in there and sleep in there but I have only just put those in and there's still the hammocks and everything else so I'm just kind of hoping that soon they'll get a bit more confident and then I'll be able to offer them treats. So last night before I went to bed, I did offer them treats just on the off chance that they would take them. And one of them did, but the other didn't. I'm just looking forward to them gaining in confidence and also just building a bond with them in general. I'm really excited for that. So it is actually two days after I collected the girls and I've been in contact with the breeder and they still still have I think a couple more girls and since I've been researching rats and their group dynamics and everything I've decided actually that I'm going to get two more female rats they are from the same litter I'm kind of hoping that they will still remember each other but either way I am going to be using the carrier method to introduce them to each other I am hoping this will go smoothly and will be fine since they did know each other they're from the same litter, hopefully they remember the smell. I know that this is not the ideal way to go about things, but at first I thought that I would be happy with two, and then thinking about it, I just thought that they would be happier to have a bigger group, so I am actually going back to get two more girls today, and I'm hoping that everything goes smoothly. I also want to just add in that I did calculate how many rats would be suitable in the cage that I have and it does say that four rats is completely fine in this cage. It said that my cage is fine for four to five rats. I am open to upgrading in future if I feel like it's necessary but especially now while they're all like teeny little babies I'm sure they will be completely fine and like I said on the rat cage calculator it does say that my cage is fine for four rats. I have 
introduce them all together. Everything has gone really, really well. Oh, I didn't even show you a clip of them. Hopefully I'll get a clip of them, but if not, um, I'll just insert a picture here. But they've all been cuddled up together and they're doing really well. Hopefully they'll be a bit more confident soon. I collected the other two girls last night and I introduced them and everything went so well and it is the next day since getting them and honestly I can't even tell you how much of a massive improvement of confidence I've seen from all of them I honestly like can't even believe it I don't know if they feel like they have like strength in numbers but they are all exploring together I've had every single one um lick um this paste off my finger um it's like a rat multivitamin paste but I've got every single one of them to lick that off my finger I think about yesterday out of my two girls that I had one of them there was no 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 chance that I would have been able to get her to do that um, yesterday and then today I've had all four girls come and do it hopefully I'm explaining this well but basically everything is going so well they are all exploring and climbing gaining in confidence and the introduction itself went absolutely seamlessly for a little while longer they will still be settling in but Whenever they are a bit more confident, I will be filming another video where I introduce them all. I show you all their different colourings and talk about their different personalities and just introduce them in general. But I don't know when that will be. That will be whenever they are a bit more confident. So if you would like to see that, make sure that you like and subscribe. You can also hit the notification bell that will let you know every single time I post a new video. And I really hope that you enjoyed. Um, if if you do have any tips about taming rats please leave that in the comments down below I would love any advice that anyone can give me I have done a lot of research but I feel like sometimes reading things is not the same as when you actually experience it firsthand so any advice I am very grateful for and hopefully I'll see you in another video soon bye